congratulations on your new Pan America. This is a quick instructional video to get you started with the Pan America and Pan America Special. To start the Pan America, it's keyless ignition, so as long as the key's in your pocket, on the right hand switch gear, flick that switch to on, the bike will wake up. It's crucial that you allow the bike to run through its initial startup process and diagnostics. Give it a chance to wake itself up. There's a lot of computing on this bike. Let it cycle through and be ready to go. When it's done that, it's a single push on the top, not push and hold. That just springs into line. One of the first things to learn on the Pan America is your ride modes. What mode you're in is displayed just above the speedo and you cycle through them with a single push of the button just behind the starter. You have road mode, sport mode, off-road, you've got a custom map and you've got rain mode. If the bike's new to you, it's worth starting in rain mode or road mode. Get used to the handling of the bike and the riding before you put it in sport mode and unleash all 150 brake horsepower. The custom maps can be changed on the bike. You can take what you like from each ride mode, but you'll probably find that the uh, the preset modes that road, rain and sport uh, are ready to go for you. A lot of the functions on the Pan America is controlled through your mobile phone via the Harley Davidson app. On the left hand switch gear is how you navigate the um, menu. This button here will take you to the menu where you can scroll through. You've got music, diagnostics, overall settings, the home screen, which is what you'll be on most of the time, and your navigation. To connect a phone, go to settings, center button to select, scroll down to Bluetooth, add new phone. As long as the Bluetooth is on on your phone, it will pop up there. You can pop the code in that comes up on the screen and your phone's connected. To connect a headset, it's exactly the same process. Go to the menu button, scroll through to settings, into Bluetooth, add your headset. There are plenty of things in settings that you can adjust to customize the bike to you. You can customize the ride, whether you want to use your ride modes, bank lamp, or your hold control. Appearance can be changed, screen brightness, and you can customize the dashboard to suit you. You can also choose what notifications to receive. In general settings, You've got all the standard things that you would do on a bike with your trip reset, date and time, how you like your clock to look, units of the bike. If you're going abroad, you might want to put it into kilometers, your security pin, language as well, if you fancy a challenge on your ride out. Cruise control on the bike is operated from the left hand switch gear. It's activated by pushing the top button on the cruise control and that yellow symbol will appear there. When you're riding 30 miles an hour in third gear or above, to turn the cruise control on, flick that down to set. I'm not moving at the moment, so you can't see, but that will turn green and the bike will keep going. You can increase the speed and you can decrease the speed with the lever there. The cruise control will deactivate if you touch the brake or clutch you can also roll off on the throttle, roll backwards and use the electronic switch to turn it off. Or you can disable the whole system by pushing the off button there and you can see the symbol's gone. Once your headset and phone are connected, the volume and track list can be controlled through the right hand switch gear. So for your phone calls, music and your sat nav, volume can go up or down. For the music, you can select what track you want to listen to and there is also a voice command button just underneath. Some other little features to be aware of. On the right hand side, 
This comes off to reveal a USB-C socket for power if you wanted to attach your phone to the handlebars. The screen goes up and down using this lever. If you pull the lever underneath the handle there, that will move up and down on the bike. The seat, which is adjustable, just under there the key goes in, back seat will pop off and you can choose what level you want your rider seat to be at. There is extra adjustability for the brake pedal. To move it down, pull the pedal out, twist it round and you'll drop it by about a centimetre just to make it a bit more comfortable for you. I hope that's been helpful for you. Really hope you enjoy your new Pan America. Ride safe.